Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Boxing Ego, I'm with Cruiserweight Blake McKernan. What's up, man? What's going on, you guys? Now, you just finished a grueling session. I caught some of it on tape. How do you feel? I feel good, man. You know, we're a little over a week out from fight night. Tell them the date and the place. So I'll be fighting Friday, March 10th with top ranked promotions on TV. I'm uh, solo boxing, which I believe is going to be on Univision. And uh, we'll be fighting at the Tachi Palace Casino. In Fresno, right? Uh, in Lemoore, right outside of Fresno. Oh, Lemoore, right yep. on. Now, you've been on a top rank card, you've been on a Golden Boy card. How's the grind been? Just getting the exposure, the, the fanfare. How's everything been on your journey? Honestly, man, it's been phenomenal. You know, I just got to give a shout out to everybody that's really been supporting the movement. When I started, man, I said this is a Team McKernan movement, and we've definitely been uh, been taking over, man. So everybody that's been following my journey and supporting me, showing me love and support, I got nothing but love for you guys. So thank you. And uh, aside from that, you know, it's just been phenomenal, man. It's like I haven't even been a pro a year yet. This will be my year to date fight, and uh, you know, be my sixth fight in less than a year. You know, and I'm looking forward to going six and zero. Oh. This fight is a lot different for me. There's a lot on the line. You know. Top rank is showing a lot of interest, so we'll see what happens. But I just recently got sponsored by Everlast. So uh, Everlast is customizing me a new outfit. I'll be fighting in Everlast gloves every fight from here on out. And um, you know, just a lot of things that have transpired from my last fight, you know, and I'm just I'm feeling really good. Now I heard you had a TV appearance. Tell us about that. Yeah, so I've had a couple TV appearances, uh, one on Good Day Sacramento, and then I just did a big feature on KCRA 3 News, which will be uh, airing on the 6 o'clock news tomorrow night, which is March 2nd. And uh, aside from that, I've just been getting so much other local love and support from all these uh, big local radio stations like V101, iHeart, 103.5, Pat Wall Sports Radio, and the list goes on. So um, it just it feels really good to be able to get all this 
just uh, support from my city and them really holding me down and looking out for me. Now, I seen you post something about Netflix. Is that something you could talk about? You, you said there's like a special or something that you were trying to work on. So right now, you know, I actually uh, had recently been contacted by a director and a film agency We're in the process of filming my own custom documentary right now that will be coming out on a big movie channel near you soon. But, uh, you know, part of this fight is they're gonna be collecting some footage from this fight, you know, my preparation, um, you know, the behind the scenes footage of me backstage, the actual fight itself, which should be uh, included in the documentary, man. So make sure to look out for that. All right. Now, gearing up for this fight, what, what's so different about this fight? You said there's a lot on the line. Why, why this particular fight? Is it because you got the Everlast endorsement deal and more all eyes on me like Tupac? I just, uh, <laughs> you gotta throw the Tupac in there, gotta baby. Throw it. The West Coast love, but <laughs> for me, it's, the, my platform, I'm getting to fight on a bigger stage now. Now that my brand and my name is really grown into what it is, I just I have a lot of eyes watching me right now and a lot of people looking to see uh, how I'm going to develop after my last fight, which we're coming off a big uppercut knockout that was heard all over Sacramento. You guys ain't you know seeing it or heard about it, make sure to check out my Instagram. But, uh, you know, there's just a lot on the line because my biggest thing a lot of people don't realize Boxing, when it comes to the industry of boxing and being a fighter, there's so much sacrifice mentally, physically, within your life and what you have to sacrifice with your body that you're not always making the best of money and it's a struggle to make ends meet. So until you get picked up by a big promotion label, it's really a grind, man. So, um, you know, I would love to be in business with top ranked promotions. Uh, I'm really hoping and looking forward uh, to being signed with top rank eventually. So, you know, we'll just have to sit back and see what happens after this fight, you know, seeing uh, based on my performance. Definitely. Now, since you're, you're kind of new in your career, you said you haven't even hit your year anniversary yet. I was at the Fresno fight and I seen you there and you were just kind of politic and networking with people. Yeah. So can you tell up and coming fighters who may not be signed? What, what's the importance of networking and just getting out, rubbing elbows, meeting people to you? Really everything is all about marketability. You got to think from a business standpoint, uh, standpoint, it's almost like one of those things people are only going to want to invest on you based on like a return on investment type the thing. Product, yeah. You know, the, the biggest thing with me is even when I'm not fighting, I love to be at the event socializing, network, meeting people in the industry, meeting fans. To me, that's a big thing because if you don't have a big phone and a big fan base, no big promotion label is going to want to work with you because ain't nobody going to want to pay and come and see you fight. So the biggest thing with me is I get so much love and support, like I mentioned. So the biggest thing that I like to do when I go out to these events, socialize, meet with the fans, take pictures, sign autographs, and uh, really just kind of... Uh, market myself more and meet more people that are higher up in the industry to find out if they don't know about me that I, I let them you know find out who I am and you know first impressions are everything so when you can go and meet somebody and then actually can see you in person it means a whole world of difference than actually seeing somebody on paper definitely now <coughs> for the people who haven't seen you fight yet I'm sure they will what do you bring to the cruiserweight division and how do you define your particular style how I define my particular style is like a mix between Roy Jones and Mike Tyson. People might hear that and be like, man, those are some big shoes to fill, and I'm still developing as a fighter, but those are two fighters that I looked up to growing up. And, uh, you know, I just have that, like, a bring the fight to you mentality. You know, I'm not going to back down from anybody. I'm going to come straight at you. And um, when it comes down to it, my speed and my power in this weight division is something that has never really been seen. You know, on top of that, everybody that knows about boxing, a lot of the white dudes that are in boxing nowadays are usually European. Here I am, a white boy, a prior military combat war veteran. Um, you know, I'm fighting in the cruiserweight, which is part of the heavyweight division. You know, I'm just looking to bring something new, exciting that this country and this uh, sport of boxing has never seen before. And, um, you know, who knows? One day I may be fighting or I will be fighting at the MGM in Vegas. You know, it's, uh, the sky's the limit. Definitely. Now, I want to touch on that because you, you brought up an interesting point. <coughs> you said, who's the last white American just champion that, that had the whole package? And the last person you thought of was Tommy Morrison, the yeah. Duke. 
Yeah. Rest in peace to Tommy Morrison. Yeah, Tommy Gunn peace, from the Rocky man. Five movie. So, not saying you're going to be Tommy Morrison, but how do you, why do you feel like you have the package to be the next, I guess, white, Caucasian, American? The great white hoe, baby. The great. <laughs> I,